So, welcome. And there's my new haircut for anyone who, who knew that I was going to uh, chop off my locks. <laughs> That's it. That's me. That's the new me. It's all gone. And uh, good morning. Good morning from Newcastle. Oh, Kari, that's lovely. You're so sweet. Good morning. We're here at Merriweather Beach uh, in Newcastle. And it is Friday morning, 6.15, sunrise on Merriweather Beach. And before we begin, I'd just like to acknowledge that we're meeting today on the traditional lands of the Awabakal people and pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. And you guys are all so kind, but I think this looks more beautiful. So... Let's go off and enjoy this stunning morning. We're going to enjoy it together. You guys are lovely. Thank you, Joanne. Uh, good morning, Joanne, rather. Thank you, everybody, for the compliments. As I said, you're all too kind. So we're here at Merriweather. Merriweather Beach is just to the south of Newcastle City. It took us 15 minutes to drive here from where we're living at the moment. I can see the signal is bouncing around a little. Um, so we're going to get up and start moving and... While I've stood here in the one place and haven't moved, it's gone from one to four. So uh, we're just going to deal with it. Hi, Joanna. Thank you, Joanna. Hi, Deirdre. Hi, Joss. All right, so let's, uh, let's walk up this way first of all, and I'll kind of give you a little bit of orientation, and then we'll head down to the ocean baths. We're going to come back at the end of the tour and explore this tunnel. So I won't give too much away just at the moment. Um, here we have on our right, there's kind of a restaurant and cafe up here and it's called the Merriweather Surf House. That's it there. I'm not gonna go down these steps. I'm just gonna go over here to where we can see the beach looking to the north. Hi Anna, hi Connie, hi Jodie. Krista, Krista, welcome. So we're just gonna look down here first of all, look at that. The sky's starting to color up. Sunrise is in about 20 minutes from now. So we're just going to spend the next 20 minutes Really taking advantage of this gorgeous colour in the sky. Hi, Pat. And uh, I think I've got everybody else, Connie. Yep, welcome. Okay, so looking to the north here, I won't, um, I won't go all the way over, but looking to the north here from this point is Newcastle City. Can't really see it from there, can you? Newcastle City in that direction. Look at this gorgeous venue. Imagine being able to sit up there. It's not open, of course, but imagine if you were able to sit up there and look out at the sunrise from there, having a lovely tea, breakfast. Hi, Tina. Joanna says, I love the beach and sunrises and sunsets. Yeah, it's hard not to, isn't it? So, Merriweather Beach. At the northern end of Merriweather Beach is uh, Bar Beach and Cooks Hill. Uh, so it's a long stretch of beach and uh, encompasses several breaks. For me, the highlight of the beach, of course, is the Merriweather Baths. And of course, Australia is famous. It's famous for its beaches. And sorry, well, I've just got to, I just have to pause here and look at this. Let's, let's try and get this street lamp out of the way. That's beautiful. That's amazing. All right, let's zoom in on that. Oh, thank you, Corinne. Hi, Evie. Thank you, Anne. Yeah, we're really going to see the sun this morning cross the horizon because there's no, no clouds right on the horizon as such obscuring the sun this morning. So probably less well known is how uh, is our ocean baths. Everyone knows Bondi, of course, but New South Wales, uh, which actually has the majority of Australia's ocean baths, has more than a hundred 
ocean baths. So from Yamba in the north down to uh, what's Eden. Eden, I think, is the one further south in New South Wales. There's a hundred or so ocean baths. Let's go past this Norfolk pine tree. Although that makes quite an interesting view, doesn't it? Look at that. It's just sort of get you get you the best shot here. Wow. Gorgeous. How amazing. How beautiful. Hi, Mosh. Hi, Jose. Thanks for getting up early for us. You're welcome, Cindy. Oh, do you know what? I um, actually have a better day when I get up early and, and start the day this way. I don't know about you guys, but I really, really love, it's a struggle at the time, but once you get out of here, <laughs> how amazing. Uh, thank you for sharing this. I'm amazed you're awake. <laughs> so am I, Turi. What time is it there? It's uh, 6.20 a.m. First time to Ken and Tammy, I thought I didn't recognize your name and welcome. Lovely to have you here. It was meant to be. I didn't know about this too. I'm really glad I saw, needed to see. This brings joy to my heart. Oh, Joanna, let's let's make it really special for you. So we're going to focus obviously on the beautiful views. There'll be a little bit of talking. I don't have huge amount of facts and figures, but I have a little bit. And, uh, and let's just really enjoy this amazing sight this morning. This is part of what's called the Bather's Way, which is a coastal walk, and there are markers along the way. So this one here actually tells you that you are on Bather's Way, and that sort of is an illustration of a, an old-fashioned swimsuit. <laughs> and then here is a representation of the coast from Nobby's Beach in the north, right over there. We've done a couple of tours from Nobby's Head. Uh, following the coast, there's Newcastle, Newcastle Baths. And we are, where are we? We're just down here. So that's the representation of the coast. All right, let's keep an eye on this uh, beautiful sky. Let's just zoom in on that for a second. You can see the headland over there. And we'll do a very slow pan across. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Dawn, and thanks for the follow. So we're going to slowly make our way towards the ocean baths and I'll tell you a little bit about the ocean baths as we do. Hi, B. Before we get there, it's actually high tide at the moment. When we were here, uh, was it yesterday or the day before? It might have been the day before. This was all exposed rock platform out here. And there's actually a third baths or pool in this area uh, where people were wading. And uh, so that's more of a natural rock formation. <clears throat> but it's also a roosting place for some of our shorebirds. I'm just letting some people pass. It's a very popular walking uh, strip along here. There's lots of walkers. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, B. So this um, information plaque actually tells you a little bit about the some of the um, endangered shorebirds that actually use this place for roosting and nesting. So we're going to walk a little bit along, round past the pool. So this is the pool here. We'll walk around past the pool. Um, we'll actually take this line, not the not out. It's out at sea at the moment. Um, just a little bit beyond it come out to about this point here, tide permitting and signal permitting as well. And uh, we'll see what the headland looks like around that point. And here are some of the endangered shorebirds that use this place for nesting and roosting. 
We'll see if we can see some of those. I'm not sure if they're about right now, if it's the right season for them, but we'll see if we can see some of them. And here is the Merriweather Ocean Baths. So look at it from up above, first of all. This is the largest ocean baths in Australia. And there's a shallow pool in front and then there's a deeper pool behind. They're both 100 metres in length. So the one behind, you can actually see the starting blocks. So that's 50 metres across. So the lanes go this way. So 50 metres by 100 metres, that's the size of a football field. And this was constructed in 1935. Hi, Lethargy. Did I miss you? I think I'm not sure if I welcomed you or not. And if I missed you, welcome. Lovely to see you again. Hi, AJ. And look at all those people out there exercising. So some of you might recall that we're doing, uh, we're living in our daughter's house and it doesn't have a bathroom at the moment. So we've been coming down to various locations in Newcastle. There's the, um, the council pool, but this one as well. This is free to come to, by the way. There's no admission charge to use Merriweather baths and they've got two hot showers in there and look at this staircase this is a popular spot for very fit people they run up and down those stairs no thanks <laughs> and you can see how full the car park is I don't think I've ever seen it with uh, more than one or two spare spots. Joanna says, I so remember tours you've done. Thank you for staying and showing your beautiful world. You're very welcome. Lifeguards on duty in the dark. I don't believe that there would be lifeguards on duty 24-7. I think at certain times a day you would be using these facilities at your own risk, but I, I don't know for sure. Don't, don't quote me on that. <laughs> But I can't imagine there being a lifeguard here at 3 a.m. Alrighty, let's go out. I'm really glad we started early because we got the very best of the light out there out to see. It's just starting to fade to a, a more pastel shade right now. Yes, that's right, Joanna. We sold our house. We're living with our daughter at the moment. And uh, next week, maybe, things may change. We're hopeful. Next week we will head off on a bit of a road trip. It looks like there's been some um, earth moving activity here of some sort. I don't know what's been going on. There's been a bit of a, I can see tracks and, and uh, what have you. So I'm not sure what's been happening here overnight. Michelle, it's still lovely out there, the, the, but the beautiful colours were just as I came on. But sunrise hasn't happened yet. It's still 10 minutes till actual sunrise. So we still will see some changing colors on the horizon. Hi Rose. Hi Laurie. Welcome. And hi Dunya. And sometimes I, I welcome you too soon before you've unmuted yourself. So I hope you've all managed to hear me welcome you onto this beautiful tour this morning. Look at all those people exercising out there. It's such a large group. They all look like they're doing acrobatics. All right, so what I'll do is I'll walk around the pool, or maybe not. I just noticed the waves are breaking over the edge. We might not walk along that far wall. I'll make a call when I get out there. So this is the shallow pool. And it's shallow enough for me to do pool walking, which I prefer over swimming these days. I've never been much of a swimmer, to be honest. Water temp. Cindy, I actually don't know. I should have looked it up, but I'm, I'm going to hazard a guess that it's around about 18, 19 degrees. Uh, the air temperature right now is at about 18 or 19, and uh, we're heading for a 28 degrees today. 
but it's really, really humid. It's 94% humidity. So later on today is actually going to get quite uncomfortable. Corinne asked, after your road trip, are you going to settle in Newcastle? Actually, not immediately, Corinne. We have actually been approved for a house sit. So what's going to happen, our plan, let me just look over this way for a bit. Our plan is construction is about to start shortly on um, our granny flat in our daughter's backyard. We have been approved for a house sit at a place called Brooklyn, which is on the Hawkesbury River. And it's halfway between Sydney and Newcastle in a lovely spot. We'll be there for four months. And it's perfectly located. So we can still get down to Sydney. We can get up to Newcastle. My parents still live in Sydney, so we'll be able to see them. You walk in water too, Rose. It's a great way to exercise, low impact. It keeps, but it still provides a lot of resistance. Hi, Elizabeth. Yeah, bliss, bliss for sure, AJ. Uh, humidity, oh, the humidity in Sydney and on the New South Wales East Coast sometimes can be really punishing. I'll, I'll share the temperature that we're having right now and it doesn't sound too difficult, but then you realise what the humidity is and it's, oh, um, even with this cool breeze on my neck, I can still feel the moisture on my neck. It is exciting, Corinne, Cindy. I did water aerobics in heated pool for arthritis up to our necks. It was great exercise and social too. Yeah, exactly. And I've got, I have knees. I have bad knees. My knees aren't great either. And the water exercise really helps me. Hi, Emma. Thank you for following. And if anyone else is uh, keen to see more of the tours that I do, I've got to watch where I'm walking in case there's a step and I send myself in all sorts of odd angles. Uh, if anyone else is uh, watching this tour this morning that uh, is enjoying it and would like to see more of what I do, just hit that follow button and you'll get notifications. Look where I'm standing. Waves are breaking over the wall right beside my feet. Yeah, thanks for the follow, Deirdre. And I apologise if it's Deirdre. I know that it can be pronounced both ways. So here's the ocean pool. And what I'm going to do is I'll walk out a little along around that point and then we'll come back and have a look at the tunnel. So let's just slowly walk out over here. Yeah, we won't be walking along. We won't be walking along that edge where the starting blocks are. You can see someone is getting up on the starting blocks. Uh, the waves are breaking over that wall there. So... Um, I think it's going to be a little bit too slippery for me. Oh, welcome. Thanks, Deirdre. Thanks for setting me straight. I have a friend who's Irish and she is called Deirdre. Yes, there's a big ramp into both pools. Let's have a look here. Sorry. Big ramps into both pools, which is fantastic. So easy access into the pools. Isn't that great? And 100 metres. It's just a huge pool. Just looking here. Julie, I was looking at ocean pools worldwide. I think there's possibly one in either the very south of England or in Wales. I, I can't remember. I, I saw that there's one in Portugal, um, a few in South Africa. Um, but I think Australia takes the the prize for having the most ocean pools and they really are just wonderful.
All right, I'm going to go out and have, we'll take a little walk around that point and then we'll come back to look at the, um, the, the street art in the tunnel. Wales, yeah, I think you're right, AJ. I think that's what I saw, that it was certainly on the south coast of the UK there somewhere, but I think you're right, Wales. Look at that staircase. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, rather forbidding. And look at those houses up there. How would you like to live up there? Oops. So, yeah, just here, that's still street lights hitting the water. I want to get around to the other side of the pools and try and get the, the sun reflection across the water for you as well. There's a fellow setting up over here with his camera. Yeah. AJ, it's um, just coming up to sunrise. It's just coming up to 6.40 a.m. We should start to see the sun cross that horizon very soon. So I'm going to keep an eye on it for you. And uh, we should start to see that any moment. I just want to get around to this side of the pool. That would be a lovely shot if we can get the sun's rays reflecting across the water of the two pools here. Oh, AJ, it's, it's, it's busy all the time here. It's crazy. <laughs> it's such a popular spot. Uh, I'm not sure if you missed it, but when we first arrived, it was still dark. And there were people leaving. The car park was full. People were leaving. They've already finished doing their exercise for the day. Lethargy, yes, and it's a struggle to get out of bed. But gosh, I'm glad when I get here. It is. It's perfect. A free amenity, 24, open 24-7 just fabulous it's just starting to get really golden out on the horizon there it's frozen oh no oh no 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 you're not allowed to freeze image is not allowed to freeze right as sunset sunrise starts come on come back you're back oh good excellent ah oh. I'll find this safe space, safe place, and we won't move. <laughs> All right, it's about to happen. It's about to happen any second now. We should start to see it coming up over the horizon. What a lovely way to start your day though, isn't it, really? Sunrise in the pool here. It's really interesting you say that, Julie, because I, I walked in this pool, this first front pool um, the other day and the bottom of the pool was a mixture of sand and shell. And I started to think I should have worn, I've got pool walking shoes, you know, those sort of rubber soled shoes. I was starting to think I should have put those on. I was thinking I'm going to step on something sharp. <laughs> Hi, Dolly. Oh, we're all waiting here in anticipation, AJ. Doesn't everything take so much longer when you're waiting? Yeah, hey guys, stop walking, stand still. <laughs> Do you think they heard me?
<laughs> Sometimes having the people in the in the uh, frame gives it perspective as well. Hi, Virginia. Welcome. At least when oh, there it is. There it is. Woo! Virginia, talk about timing. Ah, oh, here it comes. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in. I don't mind the silhouettes of people. Okay, I'm going to zoom out again just to get the full, full wide angle. I'm slowly going to move this way. I've got two bars at the moment. If it dips down to one, I will go back the other way. Come on, signal, come back, come back, come back. There it is. All right, so we'll give it a few more minutes and then I'll walk just a little way towards the point. And then we'll go back up. Oh, we've got suddenly got a big group of joggers coming towards me. Yeah, it doesn't look great. I like the um, I like the photographer on the left as well. Zoom in a little, sure. See how it's just starting to cause that reflection on the um, on the sand there in front. Oh, he's got a big camera. Look at that. Yeah, I think we're going to give walking around the point a miss. It's already 30 minutes in. We've only got 15 minutes left, and I want to show you the street art. So um, I'm happy to go a few minutes over. Oh, look at that. That's interesting with, with it behind his head. Did you manage to catch that? Hi, Nicola. Hi, Ronnie Lynn. Okay, I'm going to zoom out again. Um, Corinne, they are all going to be tankers or freighters of some sort. I don't know specifically what that is, um, but Newcastle Harbour is just a few kilometres north of here and they're waiting to be taken into, into port we have coal comes in and out of um, Newcastle Harbour. Hi, Terry. Hi, Chelsea. All right, let's go over here. I just want to. I'm loving this reflection on the um, edge of the on the water's edge. There's a few out there at the moment. So we've got that one that's immediately near the sun, but out here on the horizon we've got another one over here. Just over there, there's one there. And then there's another one over, <laughs> over there as well. And they all just sort of park out there waiting to be piloted into Newcastle Harbour, the port of Newcastle I think they call it. Alrighty, we're going to slowly start making our way back up the hill. I'm going to give the, um, I'm going to give walking around the point a miss. Uh, we won't leave ourselves enough time to see the street art if I do that. And it's lovely, isn't it? Let's zoom in again. 
for another shot. How beautiful. So we've got a guy setting up here for probably, a, he's probably a personal trainer, I'm guessing. Uh, the other day we saw a yoga class down here. We also saw, looked like a mindfulness class. Let's zoom out again while I'm walking. So, just saw a sunset in Morocco and now a sunrise in, in Australia. Beautiful. Who's in Morocco right now, Ronnie? Is it, um, is it still Alison? Is she still in Morocco? I just noticed a huge wave breaking on the shore over there. I don't know if it'll do it again because they come in sets. Okay, so that's a jogger. Thanks for the follow, AJ. So if, if any of you are into um, meditation or mindfulness, tomorrow morning I'm going to be doing a forest bathing tour. Just as I started to walk up this uh, ramp, lost the signal completely. Okay, all right. I'm going to walk up here very quickly uh, to try and keep the signal connected. <laughs> I want to get to the uh, street art. So let's let's just go as quick as we can. Here's go here goes. Because what I'm doing is I'm taking you to the aquarium. And that will make sense when we get there. you got to go. Okay, AJ, thanks for joining me. See, the signal's back now, four bars. Probably just because I was uh, next to a concrete wall. Okay, down to one bar again. It's so up and down, it's so sketchy. Okay, so... <laughs> this might be a little different to what you are, uh, what you might be expecting, lethargy. There's my other half sitting there waiting for me. Thanks, Joanna. Oh, Joanne, sorry. And Alina, you uh, you come right at the end but let's let's not deprive you of this beautiful sunrise and uh they're saying hi richard <laughs> and we just saw the uh, merryweather baths ocean baths down there and now i am taking you to the just got across the road it's one way here so we're all good i am taking you to the Merryweather Aquarium. Okay, I can tell you that the signal is possibly going to cut out through here and that's why we left this till last. Now, if you haven't already gathered, this is not a real aquarium. This is a painted gallery. So this is where we enter. Prepare to be astonished. All right, so the first thing that we see, first thing we see is we're about to enter is the whale with a tattoo on his fin <laughs> that says Merryweather forever. And it's popular with joggers. You've got to wait for people to pass through. And then on our right, Someone mentioned that um, they'd surfed or their husband had surfed here many years ago. This is Mark Richards, four times world champion. And I can see the signals drop down to one bar again. We may not get very far in here. 
All right. So just in case I lose you, I will be getting you back as soon as possible. Oh, thank you for sharing that, Anne. That's my next tour. I will go in as far as I can. If I lose the signal, I will come straight back out again and, uh, and try and reconnect in, in order to uh, thank you and say goodbye. But I'm just giving you stand here and zoom perhaps. Well, I can do that, but there's not a lot of light. And it actually works best if I'm standing. Look, I'll go a little way. We'll see how we go. It's, it's really fabulous. And, uh, yeah, it did cut out, didn't it? Yeah, we're not gonna get we're not gonna get into that tunnel. What I'll do is I'll photograph it and I'll post it on Hago Voyages. But there's the starting blocks for the pool just over there on the right. That's as far in as I'm able to get. I'll cut this out. And then over here on the left, we have what do we have up there? We've got dolphins. And we've got the Merryweather bathhouse. So, yeah, as you can see, the, the signal's just going to cut out if I try and go in there. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'll photograph it and I will um, share all the images on Hago Voyages for you. Um, so, yeah, it's such a shame I can't take you in there. But I just don't want to lose the signal, as you can understand. So let's take you back over here. Look, four bars straight away as soon as I turn around. We'll finish up looking at this beautiful, beautiful sky. Thank you, Deirdre. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who, oh, I nearly tripped. That would have been interesting. I've done that before. Look at this little car. How cute. And Cindy says, thanks so much for getting up so early. Enjoy your day. It was magical. You're very welcome, Cindy. I'm just waiting to cross the road, the tattoo. It was brilliant, wasn't it, Lethargy? I'm going to take some photos along the tunnel, as I said, and share those with you all in the Hago Voyages group. And there we go. Let's turn that camera around and I'll say goodbye with that in the background. Anyone who hasn't seen my haircut, there it is. <laughs> I've gone short. Alrighty, so as I said, tomorrow morning I'll be doing some forest bathing and uh, then I think I've got something else after that, but I can't remember what it is. Everything's been a bit hectic the last couple of days for us in real life. So, so my head's a bit of a, a fuddle, a muddle, muddled fuddle right now. Thank you so much for joining me. Please enjoy the rest of your day or evening or afternoon or whatever it happens to be and I will see you on my next tour. There's a small plane going by. Let's see, let's see what that looks like. Oh, no, it's not. It's a helicopter. Right up there. Oh, thanks, Kari. Richard's ready for his coffee, yeah. There's a cafe just down here. Actually, we brought a thermos today. We've decided not to spend money. We brought a thermos. We're going to have tea. We're going to have tea overlooking the ocean. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day. Bye for now.